What's going on everyone? In this video, we're taking a look at Keyshot Studio's latest lighting updates and additions in Keyshot 2025. We have two new updates that we'll be talking about today, one being the addition of a new lighting type called planar lights, and the second being the addition of our new light positioning tool. To get started, we can find our new light type in the Add Light menu under the Edit tab. Notice that when I add the new light, the new light positioning tool window automatically opens. This new window lets me control the physical planar light similarly to how I would control highlights in the HDRI editor, but with a few additional controls and options. Note that you can also open the light positioning tool independently of adding a light by selecting it from the tools menu, opening it from the move tool when a light is selected, or by right clicking the light in the real time view or scene tree and selecting it from the pop up menu. With that said, let's take a look at the light positioning tool a little more in depth before we talk about the planar light itself. With the window open, you'll notice that the highlight positioning option is currently selected and highlighted in blue. With this setting, I can target a highlight on the model by hitting the control or command button and left clicking on an area I'd like to target. I can also hold the left mouse button down and drag along the model surface to more fluidly adjust how the highlight falls on a given surface. Note that the control or command click or drag controls apply to all the selectable positioning options except for orbit, where dragging is required to orbit the model. With normal selected, I'm able to select a surface and the light will automatically position itself normal to the surface I've selected. Target allows me to place the light in a specific area in space and then target a specific part of my model without moving the light's position. Unlike the two previous positioning options, with target I'm only adjusting the light's angle. And finally, orbit allows me to orbit the light around the model by clicking and dragging my mouse. Within the lighting tool window, I also have the ability to control specific numerical values that affect the light's positioning for precise adjustments, as well as a series of positioning presets that let me position the light orthogonally within my camera's view. There are also a couple of functions that you should be aware of to more effectively work with the tool. The first is control or command scroll, which allows you to quickly adjust the light's distance from its target, and the second is shift control or command scroll to quickly adjust a light's intensity or power, which you can see happening here both in the real time view and on the power parameter under the material settings in the project panel. Now that I've covered everything you can do with the light positioning tool, let's take a quick look at the planar light specifically before wrapping things up. As I mentioned earlier, planar lights are a new lighting type. They are built specifically to mimic how a panel light functions in a physical studio setting. Unlike applying an area light to a flat plane, using a planar light gives you a few more controls that optimize its usage. There are essentially two sets of controls for this specific light type. The first is the overall dimensions of the planar light, which can be controlled by grabbing the plane's handles. Using these points, I can quickly adjust the width or height of the light by dragging them in or out. The second set of controls allow me to more accurately focus the light cast from the planar light. In this case, the handles on the red half circle allow me to control how the light is cast vertically, which you can see by the way the light is cast on the back tire of this model. While the blue half circle allows me to control how far the light spills horizontally, which you can see by the way the light is cast on the ground plane in my scene. Together, both the new light position tool and planar lights help add a greater level of control and flexibility to lighting your scenes, making it even easier for you to create photorealistic lighting. So next time you're looking to light your scene with physical lights, consider giving our latest lighting tools a try. And as always, stay tuned, happy rendering, and we'll see you in the next one.